All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the uh, Steve Malzberg Show. And uh, that was Mike Huckabee. And uh, we are bringing you live coverage of the NRA Leadership Forum. Uh, the uh, biggest names that are speaking there, and there are some big names. We've already brought you on this show. Mike Huckabee, uh, Jeb Bush, uh, Ben Carson, Rick Santorum, and Rick Perry. We also spoke with uh, Ben Carson. I don't want to uh, have this lost in all the news uh, and all the speeches, but Ben Carson told me, bet on me running for president. Okay, so it looks like the first week in May when he said he will announce, uh, he is going to say he's running for president. Uh, that was uh, said to us here just uh, moments ago, right here on Newsmax Television on the Steve Molesberg Show. Bet on me running for president. All right, let's uh, move along to our guest. I, I, I welcome back with great pleasure Nicholas Irving, former Army Ranger, Master Sniper, first African American sniper in uh, 3rd Ranger Battalion, and author of the great book, The Reaper, the autobiography of one of the deadliest special ops snipers. Uh, uh, Nicholas, welcome back, sir. Thank you. Good to talk to you. All right, so, uh, you know, someone who, who made their military career as a sniper, the, I wonder, I mean, the issue of the Second Amendment, it must be very close to your heart. Oh, definitely, um, especially, you know, living here in Texas, I own, geez, quite a few weapons. Um, anything from sniper rifles to semi-automatic, uh, assault rifles, shotguns, you name it, I pretty much have it. Yeah, no, absolutely. I can imagine. And, and when you listen to, uh, you know, Mike Huckabee and you listen to the, the history, um, the recent history uh, as to what could happen in a nation to people uh, when the government uh, confiscates arms or, you know, there is no right to bear arms, uh, as uh, Mike Huckabee so eloquently did. We're talking about Germany and the Jews and, and what led to the uh, Holocaust, in a sense. Um, it, that's got to also uh, make you think. Oh, definitely. It uh, definitely hits home. I mean, um, if America, uh, as a nation, we were not allowed to bear arms, and uh, you look at the history, um, who knows what would happen? Uh, I, w I would rather take my chances in picking up arms if if need be, and taking that risk, as I've done multiple times on you know six deployments. Uh, I don't want to go through having a firefight again, but if need be, I'm willing to do that. No, I can understand that certainly. Um, let, let me ask you a little bit about. Uh uh, what you, you're hearing and seeing uh, in the uh, in the news these days since the last time you and I sat down together in this studio when you were here for your your great book um, since then we've got this uh, whatever you want to call a deal agreement framework for uh, between Iran and and, uh, and uh, the other countries including the United States um, I, I mean does it amaze you as someone who has served someone who has seen what Iran does whether it's uh, you know through surrogates uh, through terrorism uh, uh, through the, uh, the arming of of our enemies with IEDs that have killed Americans that we would go this far and trust Iran as much as we seem to be trusting them I think it's ridiculous um, to uh, I would never trust my enemy I have respect for my enemy uh, just as any good war fighter should but to make a deal with your enemy and 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 take sides with those uh, the uh, Iran and uh, terrorist, uh, I guess, organizations. It, it's ridiculous to me. Um, I wonder and look back what happened to America, uh, the, the, the America that I fought for and the tough America. Um, I wonder what happened to it. It's confusing. Yeah, it is confusing, which uh, really leads us to uh, what's coming up down the road in the uh, next election. Uh, you're in Texas. How do you feel about uh, Ted Cruz? Uh, Ted Cruz? Um, I'll probably, I'm not going to say who I'm going to vote no, for. No, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he's a Texan. So that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. And I know that you're a, you're a San Antonio Spurs fan, correct? We talked about that as, yeah. uh, as we, uh, we let go. Well, good luck in the, in the playoffs with, uh, with that.